Tyler Money Am Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back yet again with another WWE slash AEW action figure toy hunt deal. And I'm pretty excited today. If you guys did not notice, if you've been around the social media realm, if you haven't been around the social media realm, if you're not involved deeply in the online wrestling figure community there, or the IWFC, I guess, the internet wrestling figure community, I guess is what it would be called. I, I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a professional there. However, if you guys are on there, you've noticed that Legends figures have been hitting Hurricane, that set with DX and Triple H and all that. You also have the Ultimate Edition Kane hitting retail. We also have some AEW Walmart, Walmart exclusive AEW and Match Sting has been hitting and I feel pretty confident. Now, as weird as it is, I have like spidey senses. I swear to God I have spidey senses when it comes to these things. It's mainly Target. It's not Walmart. It's always just Target. For some reason, like in in my mind, I have this like ability that whenever new stock hits, I always get like the the feeling to go to Target. And it's like my body just knows when to go to Target to get the new figures. It's like they know. And yesterday, I had the little the little MDT tingle, my damn tingle, I guess. I, I don't know what to call it. You know, like the tray tingle, I guess. Shout out Spider-Man. But I have like this spidey sensibility. And yesterday, when it hit me, I thought I need to go to Walmart. That's where I need to go. My tingle must be Target exclusive because I went yesterday yesterday to Walmart and it was a huge failure so the tingle is not 100% at Walmart it's uh, at Target I've never missed every time like I get the tingle feeling I go to Target and I always find something it may not be everything I want it may not be stacked to the rim but I always find something so I've had that feeling today about Target so we're gonna go and find out and I am also gonna hit a Walmart I think I'm gonna go back to that Walmart that was an absolute wreck the other day just to try and check in on it but what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna head over to Target then we will go over to Walmart kind of check in on both of those stores and I'll see you guys back here after the Toy Hunt 2 review, what we picked up, if we got anything, I'll review the stores, we'll talk about what we did or didn't get and why we didn't get it, and just kind of review everything, man. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the aisle to see if the MDT Tingle at Target is actually a thing. All right, guys, here we are at Target, and what did I tell you, man? What did I tell you? Kane Ultimate Edition, we got Hurricane Legends figure, two Kane the Ultimate Editions, man. I told you, I told you the MDT Tingle never fails. We have Legends Hurricane right here. Unfortunately, I don't think they have the rest of the set, but look at this right here, man. Hurricane. I know I really want the Triple H. All they have else is Bob Orton and not, nothing else. It's like they literally hung the legends and got out of there, man. But what did I tell you? Got I mean, you got to check, right? You got the gold variant Phoenix that I still refuse to buy for some reason. I'm probably going to regret that later. But two Chinas, Scarlet, nothing else. There's literally nothing, but I nailed it. Kane Ultimate Edition was hitting retail. I knew it needed to come, but... I don't know if I want to get both of these. Should I get both of them? Should I just get one? Should I get the Hurricane? I'm definitely getting the Hurricane. I'm I'm on the fence about Bob Orton. I want to do a two-in-one review. I, I don't know if I want to pull the trigger just yet, but the Chinas are still here. AEW is the same. I, uh, I don't know, man. We're, we're on the fence here. You guys want to see a two-in-one review? I feel like that's the way we're going, but I'm just glad to find something. Alright guys, here we are at Walmart. It does not look like we have a Sting figure here. I'm not at least seeing it. We got AEW on match series number one here. You got Kenny. We have Dustin. We have Britt Baker. You got the LJ and Cody back there. No Walmart exclusive still. I don't know where that is, but two Cody's. Not two Cody. Two Kenny's. We got a Dustin. Get this thing out of my freaking way. I don't even know what to do. I, I hate these little mini lines of figures. I know they're just little toys. They make money, but uh, just, just get out of my face. We got a couple Miro's back here. Still the same Sheetah's. Hager back there, no chase, SummerSlam Basics, of course. It looks like a lot of these elites are still here from last time. If you guys remember my last toy hunt, if you guys missed it, it's the most insane thing I've ever seen. There's a hundred of each figure. The the aisles were destroyed just like they are right now. But we do have a ton of Liv Morgans, Jesus Christ. Tons of Elite Bray Wyatt. A lot of basics here. We've got some more figures going on. Like a, a ton of Liv Morgans. It looks like all the Alistair Blacks are missing. I can only find like one maybe. But there's so many here, and I can only find one Alistair Black. So, did somebody come here and buy all those Alistair Blacks? If you guys remember last time, there was like 100 million Alistair Blacks here, and now they, they cease to exist. So, I'm not, I'm, I'm wondering, did somebody come here and, and buy all the Alistair Blacks up because they saw this video? I would, I would be very interested to see. It's like they used my video as a, a reference. So, they stock up the shelves up top, but they can't fix any of this other garbage that they have going on. You you come in you come in here and you put up more shish on the on the top shelf, but you can't come in here and organize this and make this look better. Come on, man, we got to be better than this. I mean, that's just trash work ethic. It's trash by management, 
Here's an Alistair Black. Well, there you go. We found one here. I think there's one with, with the wristbands on there and then one without, maybe. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell. But you got the Alistair Black here, and that's, I mean, you know. I, I do want to walk up and down the aisles just in case we find something. Maybe something's laying around. I don't think they have any more AEW or the Sting or anything like that. I got a random buggy over here. But I don't think we have anything else. But definitely go check out the last toy hunt when we were here. I think it was like four or five days ago. And the owl looked just like this. It was an absolute wreck, but figures were everywhere. There was WWE figures everywhere. It was total insanity. I still can't find the AEW Sting figure. I'm looking for the Walmart exclusive Sting. But maybe we, we'll be able to find that sooner rather than later. And I'm guessing that one of my Walmarts, there's one right by my house and then this one. So we got we to gotta find it, man. But I don't know. This is, uh, it's not a complete bust. We got some AEW in the house. All right, guys, we are back home after the toy hunt. I got some stuff, and I told you, didn't I tell you, the Target Tingle is absolutely correct, all right? It's just a thing. Now, I will say, remember, I got the Tingle yesterday, but I didn't go to Target. I only went to Walmart, and you guys will notice that the Target stuff was picked over. We only had two Legends left on the set. There was no Triple H. There was no Jake the Snake. There was only one copy of each left, and there were some Ultimate Edition Canes. So what did we walk away with? We shall find out here today, but that just proves that that is a real thing. If I feel the urge to go to Target, I need to go because they're going to have something. They may not have everything if I wait on it. So I got to go initially. I got to go immediately when I feel that feeling. That way I don't miss out on it. But let's shut the hell up and get into what we got. Now starting off with the Target run. Very successful because your boy got Ultimate Edition Kane. I didn't want to pass it up at retail. It's one of my favorite Ultimate Editions they've ever done. And it's just a beautiful piece. It's in immaculate condition. I think I might actually keep that. Oh my god. What is There's a little wrinkle right here which kind of makes me upset. But I think I'm going to keep this mock. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I want to keep. I don't know if I'll keep both of them mock. Cause yes, I did buy two. Is that so? Uh, is that is that okay with you? I went ahead and got two mock. Um, this one seems to actually be in better condition than the other one. So I might open one, might keep one mock, but we did get two Ultimate Edition Canes. I felt that that was necessary uh, just because, you know, you don't find those. So I wanted to go ahead and grab that. So I did grab the Ultimate Edition Cane. That was one of the figures I had I had to get it. You know, it was just a thing. Had to get it. I mean, you guys noticed that everything else was picked over. I'm guessing that that person at the Target bought all of the Legend series and he probably bought also uh, the Ultimate Edition Cane. At least one of them I would expect. But if you guys live in my area, if you live in this area around me and you know these stores that I'm hitting, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to go on a toy hunt together possibly. Who knows? But I also grabbed the Legends Hurricane and the Legends Bob Orton. The reason I did this is for a review. So tomorrow we'll probably have a review on both of these guys together. It's not the full set. We will try to hawk down the whole set because I do want the Triple H. I do want the Jake the Snake. So we are going to get Hurricane and Bob Orton in here for a review so it should be pretty good. But I had to grab these not only for the review for you guys but I love this Hurricane. I think it looks sick as hell. I loved it when they first showed it off and I love Hurricane, so I mean, that's just it. The, the Bob Orton, I was really on the fence. Almost didn't pull the trigger on it, but at the end of the day, it has double jointed arms. I feel like the double jointed arms are going to get me a lot of the times. So I'm going to be like, ah, I don't really need it, but it has double jointed arms. Automatic purchase. He's got the vest. He's got the hat. He's got the boxing gloves as well. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a solid pickup. I like the Target the Target picks up. Pick it. I like the Target pickups today, and uh, the, the tingle is there. You guys saw those Chinas are going to rot there forever. Those Sheetas and Jake Hagers, I don't know if they'll ever leave. Uh, they've been there for a long time, man. And they've been there for a really long time. But we're not done because we went to Walmart. And I don't know if you guys can guess what I got. But we also grabbed the two Kenny Omega unmatched figures. Uh, I don't know if you guys are... Or if you're new to the channel, you don't know the rule about me. If I find a, an AEW Kenny Omega, automatic purchase. If there were six of them, I had to buy them. So Kenny Omega is one of those guys that I'm literally going to buy every single one that I see at retail. It's just, it's how I've done it so far. Except for when the, figu when the figures first released, I did not buy everything. I left a lot for people to grab them because I knew that AEW figures were going to be super sought after right there. So I went ahead. I left a lot of Kenny's, actually. I only grabbed one, I think. Maybe two for everybody else to get because, I, you know, we grabbed the full set. We had all those. But Series 1, I left a lot of Kenny's there for other people to get. Usually when I find unmatched one, and, and like, it's not like I find unmatched one all the time. But we added two more unmatched Kenny's. I don't know how many of these I have mock now. They didn't have Darby either. There was no Darby. Maybe somebody got the Chase Darby and the regular Darby because you guys saw that it was kind of 
picked over again. They had two Miros. I probably missed out on the Darbies, let's be real. They probably had a chase. Makes me sick. You guys also notice what's weird? Did you guys notice that all those Alistair Blacks were almost gone? There was like seven or eight the other, the other day, and now there's only two. I th Did somebody watch my video, see all those Alistair Blacks, and go buy six of them? Please let me know down in the comment section below. But uh, I went ahead and grabbed the Kennys. We got the Kennys, we got the Canes, we got the Hurricane and Bob Warden. Very successful toy hunt. Did not expect to spend $150 today on these, but that's what we had to do. These AEW figures rang up for $16.50 or $16.40. The Canes were $29.99, and then the Legends figures were $21.99, which is just absurd. So we actually got a pretty good deal on the Kennys, and I'm just glad that I found some more Kennys, man. I love the Kenny figures. Just uh, That's probably my favorite AEW figure. I have three loose right here, and then I have like four mock, not counting these, so we, we got to... That's going to wrap up the toy hunt today, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt video. Let me know what you thought of, the, of my stores. What did you think of the pickups here today? Would you have grabbed the same stuff, or would you have grabbed some more? Let me know all the things down in the comment section below, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Do not cross the line like me when I didn't go to Target yesterday. I could have found the full Legends figures. God dang, man. Just go. When you get the tingle, you just, just embrace it, and you go. Get, go. Just go. And don't cross the line when you go. You cross the line.